All right guys, so today's video, we're really trying to see how low can a company really go in price and still have a very nice sounding truly wireless earbud. And so the pair we're gonna check out is the Chisana C1L. Now this is a pair that retails for $27, but right now on Amazon, you can pick them up for 21 bucks. Now $21 is the lowest price truly wireless earbud that I've reviewed on the channel. So I went in with very low expectations and by the end of it, I was actually surprised. But let's go ahead and check out some of the features and what you get inside the box. Now the first thing is these have Bluetooth 5.0 and I had a very stable connection and I had no lag issues with watching videos. So for a pair that costs that little, that's actually really nice. Now one thing I didn't see is an official IP rating, so I don't know how resistant it is towards water. On the back it actually says it has a sweat guard, so I guess for working out and maybe a light rain you should be fine, but for the most part keep these away from water. Now in the box it came with like seven sets of ear tips. They had what they called the bullet style, which is more for like the music listening experience. And then they had the umbrella style, which is more geared towards comfort. So I really like the fact that they included that many ear tips considering not everybody's ear canal is the same size. Now sadly, even though it's kind of hard to complain because of the price, these did come with micro USB instead of USB-C. And speaking of the charging cable, the battery life is also on the lower end where individually you're going to get around two and a half to three hours on the earbuds. And then with the charging case, you're looking at around 12 hours. So even though two and a half to three hours doesn't seem like a whole lot of time, most people do not listen to their earbuds that long anyway. And so this will be fine for most. And the reason it has such a low battery life on the case is the case is actually very, very small, which I like the fact that it's easily pocketable, um, doesn't take up a lot of space in your pocket, in your bag, or whatever you're gonna throw it in, so that is definitely nice. Now on the case, you have your micro USB input on the back, and then you have four indicator lights on the front to let you know the status of the battery of the case. Now the earbuds themselves are white. Now I really would have liked to have had a black option because the white earbuds in your ear, for the most part, looks like you have cotton balls in your ears. Now as far as your controls go, it is button control, and I'm happy to say they control everything. Some of the more expensive brands don't even get this right, but you have your play, pause, skip your track forward, go backwards, turn your volume up, turn your volume down, and even summoning your smart assistant from a pair of 20 something dollar truly wireless earbuds. Now, if you do wanna use the earbuds individually, you can only do that with the right earbud. And as far as taking phone calls, it has mics on both sides, so it's picking up in stereo sound. And I think that the mics on these sound pretty decent, but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, and so here is a mic test using the Chisana C1Ls. Um, overall, it has a warmer tone to it, but I think for phone calls, people will have no issue hearing you clearly. And so here is the microphone with a crowd noise being played in the background, so you'd get a better idea of what it would sound like if you took a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound, because this is where I was curious to how a company could make a 20 something dollar pair of truly wireless earbuds sound decent considering the price. And to me, I think they went above that, especially if you're a bass head. They use what they call a bass plus acoustic chamber, and you can tell they're heavily focusing on the bass. I mean, overall, this is a very warm sounding earbud, but there is so much presence in the low end plenty of punch, and even actually like a slight rumble in the bass that you don't get with a lot of other earbuds. And at times it feels like you want the mids and the highs to be tuned up just a little bit more because you want it to compete more with the bass, but it never feels like it's drowning them out. It just feels like since the bass is so pumped up that you would like the mids pushed a little bit more forward so that the vocals can come through a little bit better. And then you wish that the highs were tuned up a little bit more, especially the way that I like it. I think if bass is gonna be just thick and punchy that I like my treble to have a brighter sound so that it feels a little more on an even playing field with the bass. So all three frequencies definitely have presence. They don't get drowned out. It's just that the bass has a little bit more than the others. But again, this is a 20 something dollar pair of truly wireless earbud that has a sound signature that is geared towards um, a dynamic sound, having a lot of just in your face bass. The sound stage and sound imaging on these feels like you're walking into a room or a club where you have two very big stereo speakers in front of you because these also get extremely loud. Now, as far as the cons go, I would have liked to have seen these available in black. 
I do wish that they had an official IP rating. And obviously I'm going to say that I wish they use USB-C instead of micro USB. And then maybe tune up the mids and the highs just a little bit more to have a somewhat more balanced sound to even out with the bass. But overall, this is an easy one to recommend. It's 20 something dollars. This is an excellent gift idea for Christmas, um, especially if you're not wanting to spend a whole lot of money. But if you still want them to have a very good listening experience, some decent battery life, and something you don't have to worry too much about, this is a good pickup. But guys, that's my review on the Chisana C1L. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.